One just dropped something wild, a brand new model called One Animate. Imagine being able to transfer your real life gestures, body movements, and even facial expressions directly onto your AI avatar, or even swap out characters in a video completely and seamlessly. That means you can literally control your avatar with your own movements or replace someone else with whoever you want. It doesn't stop there. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to do all of that step by step, but I'll also be testing their latest video model 1 2.5. AI never sleeps. Like when I think I need a break, another new model. What is going on? which people are saying might be even better than Google View 3. So let's dive in. You can access this model directly on the main one website, but note, it's not free. I'll be testing it out using an all-in-one platform called Higgsfield because I want to compare it with other models while also saving on subscription fees. In case you haven't heard of them, Higgsfield is an AI platform that's built a reputation with Higgsfield soul their model for generating realistic, consistent avatars. They're also known for powerful camera controls and some pretty crazy VFX. I only recently discovered the platform, so in future videos, I'll be exploring more of what they have to offer. Right now, they're offering unlimited tests for the 1 2.5 model with your plan without burning through credits. That's why I'm using it. If you want to follow along, I've dropped the link in the description. With that out of the way, let's continue. Once you sign into the website, we'll be looking at two features, one 2.2 animate and one 2.2 replace. Click on video, then Higgsfield animate. Once you click on that, it opens up with two options, an input image and an input video. We'll start off with one replace. Here, we'll upload a video as the guiding video along with the image we want to use. This is the video where I want my avatar replaced. This jollof rice looks so good. Let me take a bite. And here's the image I want to use in that scene. After uploading both the video and the image, select one 2.2 replace. What it does is take the input image and replace the character in the video with it. In terms of resolution, there's 480p, 580p, and 720p. I usually go with 720p, then click generate. Right now, it takes a few minutes to generate a result because a lot of people are testing the models. Here's an example of the output. This jollof rice looks so good. Let me take a bite. As you can see, it replaced the character really well. It even kept the Coke bottle, but for some reason, the plate of jo jollof rice and the fork disappeared. That's one thing I noticed when testing the replace feature, but overall, it did an awesome job replacing the character in the scene. Here's another example. This time, my character was walking. The original image I used didn't have legs or shoes, but the model went ahead and generated trousers and shoes to match the reference video. That's impressive. Another example here, I used a full body image and it did a solid job mimicking my avatar by replacing it in the video. So that's how the one 2.2 replace feature works. Next, let's look at one animate, which I find to be even more cohesive compared to replace. For this, we'll use a dance reference video I posted in the community and a specific character I generated earlier that a lot of people liked. Here's the character. What we want to do now is use a driving video to animate this character. I've gone ahead and added a driving video, which is an Afrobeats choreographer, Afronita. Big shout out to her. She was even featured on Britain's Got Talent recently. Now, instead of using replace, we'll select one 2.2, animate, click generate, and let it process. Here's the result. I won't play the audio since it's copyrighted music, but I'll post a shot with the full dance and music so you can see it properly. Even without the audio, you can see how well it mimicked the dance. Someone commented that it looks like Vagal, so let's compare. I also tried this in Runway ML. 
but Runway didn't animate it at all. It just kept saying there's no face. What makes this unique is the detail. Look at the fit. You can see the shadow perfectly and the facial expressions are carried over from the driving video. Even when the video zooms in, the animation does the same. It feels much more realistic compared to Vigo. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with Vigo. As you can see, Vigo's version looks squashed. The legs feel like they're floating and the character looks older and bulkier than intended. The ring on my 3D animation even got changed. It's not terrible, but compared to one animate, the difference is clear. Now let's look at some more examples. Starting a faceless YouTube channel like mine, one of the best things you can try out in 2025. To help you get started, check out the link in the description for a free checklist. One thing I noticed, if the character is further away, lip movements aren't as expressive. The body movement tra transfers well, but if you want detailed lip sync, you'll need a close-up driving video. Here's another test I ran with a closer shot. Starting a faceless YouTube channel like mine, one of the best things you can try out in 2025. To help you get started, check out the link in the description for a free checklist. So you can see the mouth movement more clearly. Okay, so this looks way better for lip syncing. I have one more example as I wanted to see how well it transfers gestures since it handles body language and speech really well. And yeah, as you can see, it did a good job transferring the gestures. So that's it for one 2.2 animate and one 2.2 replace. Now let's move on and test the new model one 2.5. To access it, go to video, select one 2.5 and it opens up. You upload an image, type in a prompt and there's an enhance on off toggle. I switched it off. Then you choose your duration and resolution. For this demo, I used a picture of me sitting in a restaurant, eating jollof rice, chicken and plantain with a bottle of Coke. I want the character to look down at the plate, say, this jollof rice looks so good, nod. Take a fork full of rice, raise her head and say, fantastic. Then drop the fork, pick up the Coke and take a sip. I typed that into the prompt, selected one 2.5 and chose 1080p. You can also select 720p, which is unlimited and doesn't use credits. You can set the duration to 5 or 10 seconds. Then click generate and let it process. Here's the result. Looks so good. Fantastic. I also tested the same prompt using Google VO3 fast to compare the results. I'll show you those side by side so you can see the differences. This jollof rice looks so good. Fantastic. This jollof rice looks so good. Fantastic. But here's the difference I noticed when I said so good. One emphasized the so much better than VEO3 did. That emphasis makes the delivery feel more natural. The next scene I wanted to show is a character crying. We'll play both from the two models and see the results. <laughs> With Google VEO3, as you can see, it's not crying the way I wanted. I tried generating it multiple times, but it just doesn't do a good job. One, on the other hand, tends to win in this scenario. Another test I ran was with our dancing character. I placed her on a dragon and had her say something while the dragon rode away. Here's the result. I am the dragon princess. You can see that one did a good job here, but with VEO3, the dragon just moved backward instead of flying off properly, and the voice didn't even come through. So while Google VO3 is strong for voice generation, I find one 2.5 gives a more natural composition and feel to the images. But overall, I feel like both models have their place. 
From what I've seen so far, One does a better job making characters look realistic and alive, while VO3 sometimes edges out in specific cases like voices or certain motions. And that's my test of One Animate and the new One 2.5 model on Hicksfield. Honestly, the results speak for themselves, but I'd love to hear what you think. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Is this better than VO3 or not quite there yet? And what will you be using the animate function for? If you found this video helpful, hit that like button so more people can see it. And if you want to know how to start your own faceless YouTube channel, I have the right video for you. Click here and I will see you there.